Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, calm down, everybody. Calm down. Jeff Sessions is not coming down. And uh, what a bold move he made coming all the way out here to California and to stand up against the governor, Jerry Brown, as it relates to uh, U.S. immigration. That's right. The uh, Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, escalating the Trump administration's position against the most populous U.S. state in this country, California, but accusing California of obstructing federal immigration enforcement efforts and vowed to stop the state of California's defiance. Matter of fact, Sessions made the remarks to a law enforcement group a day after the Republican President Donald J. Trump's Justice Department sued the Democratic governor of California over the so-called California sanctuary policies that try to protect illegal immigrants against being deported by the federal government, especially those immigrants who have, have committed felonies. They're still protecting them. Jerry Brown still thinks it's his responsibility to protect illegal uh, immigrants who have felonies than the taxpaying uh, citizens of the state of California. Matter of fact, California is using every power it has, and some it even doesn't have, to frustrate federal law enforcement by telling the uh, felons uh, that are illegal immigrants that, that the uh, immigration officers are coming to uh, deport them. So you can be sure, said Sessions, that I'm going to use every power I have to stop them. Sessions, the top U.S. law enforcement officer, said in a prepared remarks. In recent years, California has enacted a number of laws designed to intentionally obstruct the work of our sworn immigration enforcement officers, literally putting them in danger. To intentionally use every power is it has to undermine the duly Establish immigration law in the United States of America, says Jeff Sessions. Sessions also said U.S. immigration and custom enforcement agents carry out federal law and that California cannot forbid them or obstruct them in doing their jobs. Matter of fact, the lawsuit filed late this week on Tuesday in federal court in Sacramento, California, takes aim at the three state laws passed last year that the Justice Department contends violates U.S. Constitution and the, and the supremacy of the federal law over state law. Matter of fact, Trump has made filing illegal immigration and cracking down on illegal immigrants already in the United States one of his signature uh, issues, first as a candidate, and he was elected with this, camp with this platform, and now as president. Immigration law is a providence of the federal government, says Jeff Sessions. Quote, I understand that we have a wide variety of political opinions but they're on immigration, but the law is in the books. And its purpose is clear, Sessions added. There is no nullification. There is no secession. Federal law in the supreme law of the land. Now, this the Democrats tried this before back in... Um, the days they fired on Fort Sumter, that's what brought about a civil war. We don't need that again. You have to follow federal law. And I understand that we have a wide variety, he said. But Sessions also was speaking at a California Peace Officers Association conference in Sacramento, California, and has made combating illegal immigration one of his top priorities since taking over the Justice Department in February of 2017. A key part of that effort involves a crackdown on primarily Democratic-governed cities or sanctuary cities, and now a sanctuary state called California. Democratic California Governor, though, Jerry Brown, last October signed into law a bill that pre prevents police from inquiring about immigration status and curtails law enforcement cooperation with immigration officers. Jeff Sessions has come to California to further divide, he says, to polarize America, Brown said in a statement late Tuesday. Brown and the Democratic California Attorney General Xavier 
Vaquera are scheduled to speak in Sacramento on the issue after uh, Jeff Sessions' speech. So, and when I did hear from Brown, we did see what Brown had to say, and he was very defiant and literally challenged Jeff Sessions and called Jeff Sessions a liar. Well, um, this is going to get really interesting, and hopefully we can come up to a, you know, we can do the right thing here, but I'm afraid this could get really nasty before it's all said and done. It's a dangerous situation when, when anyone in this country, whether you're a governor or a mayor or anything else, when you think you can completely defy federal law. If this starts to happen, you be, it becomes a lawless. It's known as lawlessness. And when lawlessness takes over a land, any government will fail. It will fall. And the Bible does say in the last days there will be lawlessness. They will say evil is good and good is evil. And they will create, there will be lawless societies. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, actually, that brings about lawlessness. Disrespecting the rule of law, which... The rule of law is made by elected officials by the people who then vote within congressional legislation to pass laws that would be most beneficial for the nation. To defy those laws would be in complete rebellion. And we know what happened in the sin of Korah when we commit rebellion. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Certainly, we love everybody. We want to see everybody be saved and go to heaven, and we're for all people. And we want everyone to know the joy of Jesus Christ. We also pray for our nation, and we pray for the state of California. The cooler heads will prevail, and that we will work together as a nation in these last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Are you serious?